who do you think is out of order? My dearest Fanny, I'm writing to you from the back line bunker basement in the White House to remind you that orange mad bad. Also, it appears your fornication has not gone unnoticed. Fornication. That word should bring new meaning to all of us, considering that we are all f***ed in this next election if you do not put Trump in jail. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go start a war with Texas because I'm a little short on votes right now. Signed, your biggest fanny. Love, Joe. Go get him. Here we go. <laughs> we got the big one for you here. Fanny Willis got absolutely destroyed yesterday in court. Now, we previewed this on the show yesterday. Fanny Willis and Nathan Wade are now subpoenaed for their alleged affairs and financial ties. Look at that photo. Oh, baby. They are not having a good time tonight. Well, I mean, I mean, you know, Nathan Wade's having a great time tonight. He's billing the taxpayers for his work overnight. Remember, that's literally what he did. He billed the taxpayers for 24 hours of work. He is the foremost gigolo of the Donald Trump prosecution in Fulton County, Georgia. But Fulton County, Georgia is now revolting against Fannie Willis's revolting and immoral behavior. Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis and Nathan Wade, the special prosecutor and alleged paramour hired by Willis in her criminal case against Donald Trump, are among those who are expected to be subpoenaed after allegations that the two have carried on an affair. All right. Mr. J. What up? What's cracking, bro? Nothing bad. Nothing. Nothing. Look, man. Did they, did, did they take a, sh- a shot at um, Biden in the beginning of that video? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> and the main thing is, man, here's the thing. Here's the thing. This, um, this uh, lover boy or whatever they calling him now, that's what... Mm-hmm. And I'm going to say her name correctly because her name is actually Fawny, not Fanny. Fawny. Okay. Willis. So I'm, I'm not going to disrespect her name. But Fawny and her uh, Nathan Wade boyfriend, well, the boyfriend decided that he's going to uh, bill the taxpayers for 24 hours of work in one day. Cool. Uh-huh. He also met with the White House before they even indicted ex-president Trump. What does that sound like? So, it, it, why would they meet? I mean, it's like a conspiracy thing going on here. That's what it's like to me. Why, exactly. why would he even meet them? Exactly. Exactly. It's a it's a conspiracy yeah wow you know what i'm saying so now you hitting this man with a rico case which in the end you might be in your own rico case yep I feel you have it. Like that was the last video game. remember i said they're gonna eat them up the lawyer's gonna eat them up like i said yeah. and they are eating now, them here, up here's the thing in the last <laughs> video in the last video um we did um mm-hmm. you know i saw some of the comments and they and they were like, well, so what if they messing around? It ain't even about them messing around like that. I don't care that they messing around. I don't care that he's smacking that. I don't care. The thing is, is basically like what you kept saying the, the last video. Why didn't they just wait? They should have waited. Sloppy. Yeah, should have waited. It, it, yeah, sloppy. Because now, sloppy. now you're benef- you've hired this man. And now you're benefiting off of the money that you and him got from the taxpayers. So when you're going on these trips, when you're going on these trips with with this man and he's paying for it, that's on the taxpayers. Taxpayers. You know, let's let the let's let the video play. All right. 
are among those who are expected to be subpoenaed after allegations that the two have carried on an affair and have been using the taxpayer kitty as their own personal piggy bank to go romping around the country, ladies and gentlemen. Willis is also expected to be subpoenaed directly and may have to testify in her own RICO case. Are you a fan of the Old Testament? I certainly am. We always do a Bible verse at the end of the show, and we love to show you that the vengeance is the Lord's, right? What do we always say? Vengeance is the Lord. Justice. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we shall let it rain down in God's time on those who are wicked. And it's so hilarious when I have it. I mean, there is a great sense of irony and hilarity to the fact that Fannie Willis is now going to be caught up in her own RICO case. <laughs> this is just too good. Fannie Willis. Well, she was riding the bench yesterday in the courthouse. The Fulton County judge overseeing Willis's election interference case against Trump called for a February 15th hearing just a couple of weeks from now, two weeks to be precise, to address the allegations that she is engaged in an improper romantic relationship and mishandling public money. The attorney told CNN, I think the real issue here is not this relationship. I think it's more about the impropriety of having him sit on a team and having him present in this grand jury and conflicts of interest with the appearance of impropriety. The judge has also dismissed Fannie Willis from other election cases. So this is not a happy judge. Yeah. It shouldn't be a happy judge. Oh, she, he's a, she must he's a lose judge. money, man. Yeah. Oh, man. Wow. Let me tell you something, man. She, she about to lose. She, she's money. about to blow. She's about to blow yep. this whole case with Trump. Yep. Because the whole thing about it was, is they wanted to get him convicted before he could become president. Right again. Yep. No, not run. Not gonna I mean, he's already running, but become president. So now that she didn't messed up, it's hard to have a conviction if she's going to be taken off the case and then new new lawyers have to take over and yep. got to get caught up to speed. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. I mean, the timing just won't work. Nope. So she didn't blew it. She yep. blew it. <laughs> so we probably take her. He's going to be president again. Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna have to. <laughs> we make it. Hey, hey, cause he about to make it. He gonna be ready. He run. He's gonna win. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you. I wow. mean, here's the thing, though, man. You know, and and you know, I know some people are looking at it like, well, y'all talking about a black woman and da 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 da. da. What? Mm. Okay, okay. Mm. I, I get it. She's a black woman. I get it. I get it. But the thing is, is basically you gotta hold everybody accountable for what, what they're doing. Everybody what they're acting. Yep. Cause the thing is, is every, while y'all trying to defend this black woman, she also is having an affair with a married man that's married to a black woman. Hit the like button, subscribe. And stay tuned for part two.